My name is Jamie Wyndon, and I'm the owner of Wyndon Distilling. Uh, three weeks ago, we decided to close our tasting room and focus completely on producing hand sanitizer for the county and government agencies. We decided to start making sanitizer because we were asked to. Uh, there's a nationwide shortage, but more importantly, our local counties uh, were in great need, uh, both here on the shore and neighboring counties around the distillery. I am the president of the Maryland Distillers Guild, and in all times, the Distillers Guild tries to work together to collaborate and to solve problems and to meet customers' needs. And so in this time, we found it's even more important that we rallied all of our distillers, found out who was capable of production and who could meet the needs of the overwhelming number of requests for sanitizer that have come in in the last couple of weeks. So um, uh, working in conjunction with the other distillers to, to meet that need and to identify um, resources. Like, we all make alcohol, however, there's other products that we need to procure in order to make this product, like glycerin and hydrogen peroxide, and there's been a ton of collaboration as we establish new supply chains and get these, um, these ancillary ingredients in-house and share with each other. My name's R.B. Wolfensberger. I'm the lead distiller and co-founder of Grey Wolf Spirits. Uh, about two weeks ago, when shortages came up, uh, the FDA and the TTB uh, worked together to loosen regulations so distilleries could make hand sanitizer. Distilleries have the unique ability to get alcohol at a very high purity and that is 80% of so hand it, it, there's a hydrogen peroxide part of it also um, that can come to you in a very high concentration also uh, there's usually uh, some glycerin uh, which will keep your hands from drying out because the alcohol would just dry your hands out so that, that glycerin acts as a moisturizer and then you have to use distilled water uh, which obviously we have the capabilities of distilling water here also um, but the, the formula itself is primarily alcohol at a very high purity. That's what will kill bacteria, um, and that's why that's used for hand sanitizer. Tough times, and I feel like every community needs to work together, and some people in the community need to realize that they have special skills. I was working on making a whiskey three weeks ago. Um, and within a week, I was concentrating on hand sanitizer because I have that ability to make alcohol at that high of a purity. So this is important to me because it's a way to contribute back to the community. We're better together putting together all of our strengths. My name is Greg Slater and I'm the Secretary of Transportation for the Maryland Department of Transportation. I'm in downtown St. Michael's picking up some hand sanitizer that we use throughout our facilities, throughout our BWI Marshall Airport, our transit stations, our vehicles. It's a critical element of, of the defense that we put up to keep our employees safe and the people that we serve safe in a nice, clean environment. It, it's really important when we have a bulk of our employees that are still out there in the workforce are serving critical parts of the supply chain that are you know, we're getting medical supplies. They're serving critical parts of the workforce, like getting people to through our transit systems, through uh, to distribution centers and hospitals. Uh, you know, so these the men and women that are driving these transit vehicles are on the front lines every day, and we make sure we have to make sure that we have enough protection and sanitizer for them. And we're using uh, unique ways to get this through this distiller contracts. For me personally, there is no greater feeling than being able to step up and fill a need. And so the fact that we can come in here every single day for the last three weeks and focus on making something that is incredibly short supply right now and is needed um, in our community is, is absolutely, it's what keeps us going. We've been working harder than we ever have in the last seven years. And although we're not making the type of alcohol that we normally make and that we want to be producing here, uh, we're making something that is in, in great need and that makes us feel like we are with a purpose and, and, and able to step up and be here for our community right now. And, um, and we're very lucky, we're, v we're very lucky and we're very honored.